Hey friends, it's Essentially Jessie. I just picked up a new perfume and I could not wait to review it for you guys because it's beautiful. And if you need something new, different, unique, I've got just the thing for you to put on your Christmas list. So we are talking about House of Bows Bon Bon. This is beautiful. I'm sure that it's probably like Bon Bon or something like that, but it's B-O-M-B-O-N if you're looking for it. It's not Bon Bon. Um, this is so pretty. The cap is like a quartz maybe, um, and it's purple. Okay. So it's sweet. It just released this year. I picked up this one and Espiritu. I will be doing a full fragrance review on both of them and probably battling them out. I do like them both a lot. They will both be staying in my collection. So don't think that like one's a dud and one's not. Bon Bon is uh, it's got lychee in it. It's really fresh. It does have a little bit of leather in it, which I think is really unique. I don't get a ton of it, just like a little hint of leather. Let me read you the notes. It also has white florals in it. Oh, it's so pretty. So I have, I can't hardly stop wearing it. Okay, so top notes are lychee, lily of the valley, and saffron, which you know saffron is bomb in anything. Caramel, marshmallow, pink pepper, and bergamot in the middle notes. And then the base is cognac, birch, and ambergris. You guys, this is so good. Okay, so, you know, the original Delina was very lychee heavy. This is lychee, but not nearly as, like, sweet. This is a sweet fragrance, yes, but it's not nearly as sweet as Delina, if that makes any sense at all. I just felt like that one was really lychee heavy and very, very, like, puckery sweet. I don't know. This one is well blended. It's got the florals in it, like the lily of the valley. It just, oh, it makes it so beautiful. And the birch and the dry down. Um, you know, it says it's got cognac in it. I don't get a ton of booze, so don't think that this is a boozy fragrance. I know sometimes they'll put rum notes or different notes in different fragrances to make them a little bit boozy. This is not it. So this is more... I mean, I would almost say that this is a safe blind buy. It's that good. I wish I had bought a bigger bottle of this. It is, it lasts on the skin, I would say probably five to six hours. Um, I get pretty good longevity out of it. I do overspray it because it is, it's not like a beast mode fragrance where you can get away with one to two sprays. I probably do five to six sprays of Bon Bon by House of Beau. But I love their packaging. Um, the other one that I have is Spiritu is more like, uh, the cap looks like wood. Um, they just have great packaging and I've, it's really heavy duty. Um, it has even has little bitty tiny feet on the bottom of it to help it sit up. And so you don't knock it over and things like that. So I really appreciate your packaging on this one. And yeah, the scent is just so good. So let me know, do you have any House of Bow fragrances? Um, are there any more that I need to check out? I probably need to see if they have a discovery set or something like that. Maybe I could do like a giveaway for Christmas or something, but I'm really loving Bon Bon by House of Bow. It's, yeah, like I said, I would wear this everywhere. Like this is definitely signature scent worthy. You could wear this every day. You can wear this every season. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It doesn't die on your skin. You know, some fragrances don't last very long. This is not one of them. This one is a great one. So anyway, let me know. Do you have this fragrance? Have you tried it? Are there other ones I need to check out? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell. Smell you later.